Hello, sports fans and out-of-the-park baseball fans and just general baseball fans in general. Uh, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. I'm back here with my Kansas City Royals season where I am the manager of the Kansas City Royals. And um, we have made some notable uh, changes to the roster, at least uh, I should say my AIGM has made some notable changes to the roster since we uh, last played a game. So let's go check those out. We'll go to the, um, we'll go to the, I think we can go to history and transaction history. And, uh, you can see, uh, yeah, so you can see all of our recent transactions here. Uh, one of the things that we did was we released, uh, Jordan Lyles and I love Jordan Lyles, but we released him. Um, but uh, you can see some of these others. Alex Green signed to a minor league uh, for free agent uh, signing. Uh, Gene Pinto. Eric Lauer is now on the team. He's on the active roster. We traded Nomar Mazzara to St. Louis. Um, um, and we traded for... You guy Rosario and from St. Louis, and that was probably in the Nomar Mazzara trade. We also got Adam Morgan from St. Louis in that trade. Uh, we um, traded Edward Oliveris to Toronto, and we in that trade we got uh, Randy Gomez, Parker Detmers, and Jordan Romano. So he's been busy. Our GM has been busy. Um, Jack Carey, we um, got Jack Carey from St. Louis. And uh, Tommy Troy, also from St. Louis. And traded to St. Louis, Ryan Wilson and Dylan Coleman. And we released uh, Ramon Laureano in addition to Lyles. Um, let's see. That was the wrong guy. So let's see. I clicked on the wrong guy here. Let's go back and look at Laureano, what he was doing. So Laureano was... Well, he was... I mean, he was hitting 273 for us. So I don't know. But anyway, that's you know the like I said, I'm just the manager of the team. I'm not the GM. So um, more trades here. Uh, let's see, Gregory Soto. Gregory Soto, we traded to um, to the uh, to the Guardians. And now you're going back to, well, no. But anyway, you get the uh, you get the point. We uh, the GM's been busy, been trying to improve the team. We'll see if that has any effect, um, and we will uh, get on with our game. We are playing the Texas Rangers today, and. Um, they will be pitching Zach Kent, and we are going with uh, Garrett Crochet. So, Crochet doing well so far, so we'll see if that can uh, translate to uh, better better times for us. We'll look at the standings really quickly here. Uh, you can see we're still last. We're last overall in the league. Um, we uh, are... 37 and 71. 10 games worse than the Athletics, who are the last place team in the West. And uh, like seven games worse than Boston, who's the last place team in the East. And three games worse than Washington, who's the last place team in the National League. Looks like. Yeah. So yeah, we're the dead worst team in the league, 37 and 71, only one 
34% of our game so far, so hopefully uh, it bodes better for us. We're taking on Texas today, though. They're 48 and 60. They aren't doing very well, so let's see if that can translate to a win for us, and we're going to have to fix this lineup. I thought I had already done that um, pre-game, but let's go take a look at it. Um, what are we missing here? We are missing a left and right fielder, it looks like to me. So let's go get that. Um, so let's see. We'll, we'll put in Veerling. And he'll play left. And we will put in, and let's see, I suppose we'll, I mean, we've got some guys that are running down, they're running low here. Um, so we'll put in Gavin Cross, uh, should we put in Gavin Cross? I suppose we'll have to. And he'll play right. Oh, wait a minute. No, Nicky Lopez is going to play. All right. He'll play right. And Nicky Lopez is going to be the shortstop. All right, so we are set to go with the lineup, and the lineup will be Michael Massey leading off, playing second base. Batting second will be Hunter Dozier at third, because we do have an injury to Bobby Witt Jr. currently. Uh, Salvador Perez will bat third and play catcher. Vinny Pasquitino will be the first baseman and batting in the cleanup spot. And... Um, so let's see, then you got Fran Miel Reyes at DH, Matt Veerling in left, Kyle Isbell will be the center fielder, MJ Melendez will be in right, and Nicky Lopez at shortstop. And of course we are pitching Garrett Crochet, as I had said, and we will, uh, with that, we'll get on with the game. And this game will be in Texas. So we're going to swear up first, and Michael Massey is the first batter. Got a good look at Texas's uh, ballpark here. Nice ballpark that it is. And Michael Massey is going to fly out to left field. Which brings up Hunter Dozier. Hunter Dozier not playing a lot this game this season. He only has 32 at bats so far, and he strikes out. And there's a reason why he only has 32 at bats. Salvador Perez, the catcher. Salvi is going to get a base hit. He's starting to lead us out here. Let's see if we can do something with Pasquatino. Pasquatino hits it on the ground, and he's going to be out. And that is going to be it for us in the first inning of work. We go out. We send uh, Garrett Crochet out to the mound. As I mentioned, 167 earned run average on the year in 37 and two-thirds innings pitched. And that is going to be an error on the shortstop, Lopez. So the first batter is aboard, and now they've got Leody Tavares up, their center fielder. And that's going to be, ooh, we didn't, we didn't pull the double play, but that was a uh, line out to the first baseman. So there's one down, and Justin Foscu is the first baseman. And we did not get him on the uh, pickoff, attempted pickoff move. And then Foscu just goes right up the middle with it, and... The Rangers have something going here. They've got runners at first and second with only one out. 
and Josh Young is the third baseman, and he walks. So now the bases are full. Crochet has loaded the bases. Uh, partially not his fault, because one of the guys got on by an error, but Dustin Harris is the DH on the next batter, and he strikes out. So if Crochet can get this next guy, we'll get out of this inning unscathed. And the next guy is Jonah Heim, their catcher, and he is going to fly out to right field. So... Crochet does get out of the first, despite getting into a little bit of trouble, and that brings Fran Miel Reyes to the plate to face Zach Kent. And he's going to walk, so we got a man on with no outs. Nice start for us. Matt Veerling, the left fielder, is up, and he walks. So we got two runners on, and we have Kyle Isbell up. I am going to try to bunt. That's what I'm going to try to do. And that is a beautiful bunt, too. So that moves runners over to second and third with only one away. And uh, MJ Melendez is the batter. And that should get the run home. He throws it immediately, but to no avail. And uh, we have a one nothing lead here. And that brings up Nicky Lopez. Nicky Lopez making an error last inning, and he gets the walk. So we've got runners at the corners with two down. <clears throat> and Michael Massey, one of our better players. And he is going to hit the ball deep to center field, but for an out. We only get the one run, but we do get the run. And we go to the bottom of the second with a one nothing lead on Texas. And Lamont Wade Jr. is the batter. And he strikes out. So there's one down quickly, and Jose Devers, the second baseman, is up. And he is going to strike out. So Crochet is having a great day here so far. Of course, his bar is getting used up pretty quickly. That's a concern uh, because I don't think we really have the greatest bullpen around. But we'll have to, uh, we'll have to play it by ear here. And that is going to be a ground to the shortstop, and we're out of the inning. So... He's got at least another inning in him, um, but that would be only three innings, so that's not so good. Hunter Dozier is the batter against Kent. And what is that? That was a... <laughs> I guess the ball got away from the catcher, but he still threw him out on the third strike. And that's going to be a ground out to third base, so there's two down. And Pasquatino up. And he's going to strike out. So we're going out to the uh, third inning. Bottom of the third here. With Garrett Crochet again pitching really well. But uh, getting his bar used up a little too quickly for my liking. Uh, Justin Foscu is the first baseman. He's up next. And he is going to ground out to the first baseman who throws it on to Crochet. And there are two down and Young up. I'm going to try to get him through the next inning, because the next inning is only even the fourth, but um, he's probably one of the few good pitchers on this roster. And even then, I don't know. That's questionable. But um, that's a deep fly ball. Oh, it gets over his head, and that's a run. So I guess I probably won't be taking him. Uh, I probably will be taking him out. Because I don't see him getting through another inning after those two big hits. Because uh, he's already approaching. Now he's in the orange. So, uh, and, it's, and it's a tie game. And that's going to be a ground out to shortstop. So we do get out of the inning, but we allowed the tying run. The game is tied at one. I have to go get somebody up in the bullpen. And uh, we have a lot of yellow guys out there. So we're going to go get the... Uh, we're going to go get the... One of the guys that is not, um, not burned up or, you know, getting tired yet, or, you know, dogged a little bit. So, uh, Fran Miel Reyes is up, and he is going to walk. Um, you know, I'm happy to take these free passes from Kent anytime he wants to give them to us. 
Matt Veerling is the batter, and that's going to be a double play. So we're, we've got two down really quickly here. And Kyle Isbell is the batter. I'll probably send Crochet out at least to start the inning to see if he can get an out or two before we have to go to, uh, to cross. But uh, I don't know. It, that, this is questionable. But that's a ground out. Yeah, that's a ground out. So there's one down quickly. Want to get as much out of Crochet as we can possibly get out of him. And that is a strikeout. Yes. So we did, and now i got to go get him. So we'll go get Colby White. We'll bring him in. He comes in in a low-stress situation here. There's two outs and nobody on. So uh, Colby White, though, is coming in with an 871 earned run average in 20-some uh, innings. So... Not very good, but he does get he doesn't do a fly ball to left field to get us out of the inning. So good. Hopefully he can bring that down, and that ERA isn't indicative of how bad he really could be. MJ Melendez is batting. We're tied at one here. In uh, what is this? The top of the fifth, I think. Yep. And Nicky Lopez is the batter with one down. The lineup is still bad, even if. You know, he gets us good pitching, as it seems like he's been trying to do. We still have a lineup that doesn't score very much. And Massey put a charge into the ball, but he flies out to right. So Colby is still out there. Um, Colby White is still out there for us. And got to hope that he can put it together. And he allows a base hit down the line. That's going to be a double for the Rangers. And up steps Leody Tavares, and he line, hit it right down the line, but the third baseman was there to make the play and stop the runner from advancing. There's one down with a man at second, and Justin Foscu was up. And he's going to walk, so hopefully this just sets up a double play for us. And well, there's a strikeout, Colby White showing the gas. Pumping it up a little bit. Dustin Harris is the batter for the Rangers, and he strikes out. So I could probably get another inning out of uh, Colby White, which would be good. Uh, we're in a 1-1 game, and Dozier is the batter to lead off, and he's out. We're going to miss Bobby Witt Jr., that's for sure, um, for the amount of time that he's out. And that is uh, going to be a fly ball to right field. Gave it a ride, but uh, he gave it a ride right to the right fielder. And Pasquatino is the batter. And he's going to hit it up the middle. So we got Pasquatino aboard, but there's already two outs. That's the problem. That is our major problem here. Fran Mil Reyes is up, and he is going to foul out to the first baseman to end our part of the sixth inning and you can see now Colby White is starting to wear down a little bit but he should be able to get through this inning he strikes the first guy he faces out um, and then uh, Lamont Wade Jr. is the batter and he strikes him out man he is oh he's already gassed though and but he strikes it he struck out the side he was gassed but he struck out the side on the la he was gassed on the last guy so we're going to uh, warm somebody else up. We're going to get Scott Barlow up in the pen. And uh, Ian Hamilton is on to pitch for the Rangers. And we've got Veerling up at the plate. And Veerling is going to hit the ball down the line. That's going to be a double. Nice leadoff hit for him. Let's see if we can bunt him over to third base. Got to play small ball with this team. And it's Isbell again, who was the guy who had the successful bunt last time. Oh, but he popped it up and the catcher caught it. So there's one down and Melendez is the batter. Who? They put Melendez on automatically. Uh, face Nicky Lopez. 
Are you crazy? And they are crazy. Although, we're not going to score on that because the guy wasn't running. All right, so we got the bases loaded, one down, and Michael Massey. Like I said, one of our better players, position players, but he strikes out. So now there's two down with the bases loaded, and Dozier is the batter, and that's unfortunate because he strikes out and he isn't very good. So we are going to the... Um, we're going to put Scott Barlow in. And we are still in a 1-1 game here in the seventh inning. Barlow with a 241 earned run average on the year in 18 and two-thirds innings pitched. So hopefully he can buy us some time too. That's going to be a ground out to shortstop looks like, and it is. One down quickly. Brings up Bubba Thompson. The right fielder for Texas. And he is going to get a dribbler right past the mound and over to the second baseman that gets him an infield base hit. And Leody Tavares is the batter. And he's going to strike out. Nice. So we got the first, we got uh, two batters out with a man at first and. And that's going to be a fly out to left, looks like, and it is. So we got, this is a winnable game. I hope I hope we can hang on and get, scratch out another run here, like right here in the eighth, with Selvi up against Ian Hamilton. And he's going to walk. He gets a board. And that brings up Pasquatino. Pasquatino, the left-handed batter, pops out, or actually fouls out to the catcher. A pop-out foul-out. Fran Mil Reyes is the batter, and it gets away from the catcher, and we advance to second. So we got a man at second with only one down, Reyes at the plate. And Reyes strikes out. What is this, a new pitcher? Yep, J.T. Ginn is the new pitcher, but there's two down now, and Veerling is the batter. And Veerling is going to be out. So we still don't break through and get that se that all-important second run. And uh, this is probably going to be Barlow's last inning. He deals and strikes out the first batter. And uh, the next batter is Dustin Harris. And he walks Dustin Harris, unfortunately. He really needed to kind of get through a clean inning here. That is going to be a fly ball to center, though. So there's going to be two down with a man at first. And um, Lamont Wade Jr., the batter. And he is going to fly down the left field line. Is he out? He is out. Nice. But we got to get somebody else up in the bullpen because we have to have somebody ready to go. And that's going to be Jordan Romano, the only remaining guy who is not at all exhausted. Don't like going through my bullpen like that, but we need a win. This team needs a win badly to show that these trades are doing something. JT Ginn walks the first batter. <clears throat> and uh, that brings up Melendez. Melendez is going to hit into a fielder's choice. So now he's at first base with one out and Nicky Lopez the batter. And Nicky Lopez is going to fly out to left. So there's two down quickly, and Michael Massey is the batter. Michael Massey hits it on the ground. Is everybody safe? Is that what I'm seeing? That's what I'm seeing. Everybody's safe. So there's runners at first and second, and again, Dozier up in a key situation. Not a great idea. How is the guy that bad? That's just what I want to know. But anyway, um, we do have to go get our new pitcher, Jordan Romano, who our GM just traded for. And, uh, yeah, he said, he'd look at that mean look on his face. He's ready to go. Jose Devers is the batter that he's going to face to lead off the uh, inning. And Devers is going to get a base hit to left field. He's on first base. And um, Thomas Seguis is the batter. That's the first I've seen of him. 
This might be a double play, and it is. Thank God. And now the next batter is Nathaniel Lowe. And he is going to strike out, and we we have a chance here. We have a chance. Um, yeah, right. That's the 10th inning. We've got the man at second, and we got Selvi up. I'm going to let Selvi hit. Probably not a great bunter anyway, but he's also supposedly one of our better hitters. And he hits it right up the middle. Is that going to score the run? No, it will not. The answer is it won't. But we got Pasquatino up. He just needs to put the ball in the air. And he does do that. But it's too shallow. So there's one out. Runners are at the corners. Fran Miel Reyes up. He needs to put it in the air, but he needs to put it in the air deep. And he doesn't. He strikes out. So not good. And that brings Matt Veerling up. And Matt Veerling hits it on the ground slowly. Did we get the run? It looks like we might have gotten the run. We did. We take a 2-1 lead. Nice. And Isbell is up. And Isbell puts the ball on the ground and he is thrown out. But we have a lead in the 10th inning. All we've got to do is get through this inning. And Romano is not tired yet. So let's see if he can get us through this. But he allows a base hit. And that is going to score the tying run unfortunately. Wait a minute, did we get him? We did! We got, <laughs> oh my god, we threw him out! Nice! Texas taking, the, taking their chances. Now there's two down. We are one out away from winning this game. But we're not going to do that because there's a base hit to left. And that is not going to be a throw out at the plate. Texas gets the tying run. And then they just win the game with a home run. <laughs> My God, we were that close. We were that close to winning the game. But we lose 4-2. Very exciting game, though. Take a look at the box score. Um, uh, yeah. So there's, there's what, what the hitters did. Dozier, 0 for 5 with 4 strikeouts. That guy is just, he is a total waste. Um, Crochet, 3 and 2 thirds, allowed 5 hits and only 1 earned run. Um, White went 2 and a third and allowed no earned runs to lower his ERA from the 8s to the 7s. Barlow went 2 scoreless. And then Romano gave up 3 runs in 1 and 2 thirds innings pitched. So that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.